Hi, I'm Catherine and I'm also known as Delegate VA. I'm a virtual assistant. As well as being a virtual assistant, I also help others start, build and run their own virtual assistant business as well. If, like me, it was a bit of a struggle moving from paper calendar to online calendar, then um, you will now find that life is hopefully a lot easier for you. Everything can be done online and with the addition of software like Calendly, you can enable people, potential clients, existing clients, to book meetings with you without even having to look at your diary. It does it all for you. You can even take payments via Calendly as well. For example, my power hours, they're currently £60 and people just click a link on my website. It goes to my calendar on Calendly. It asks for the payment and then they book their time. The only thing I have to do is turn up. But also, if you're like me, you're going to want to limit the amount of calls and meetings you do a day because they stop you doing other things, other, biz other parts of your business. I like to limit my calls to an hour a day. I don't tend to like talking for more than an hour a day. I find it quite exhausting because after a call, you've, even got, you've always got to think about it. There's often tasks that come out of it. So in order to avoid back-to-back -back calls and to avoid doing too many calls, you can set buffers and rules within Calendly. And today I want to show you how to set a buffer. A buffer enables you to set an amount of time either before a meeting or after a meeting or both so that nobody can book a, another meeting with you straight afterwards. So it gives you a little bit of time to reflect on the meeting and also to not have to worry whether the meeting's going over schedule so you can just focus and you can be present the whole time. So I'm going to start with my power hour here, which is, which is an hour. Um, if you go into the drop down arrow and go to edit, and then you've got the tab, when can people book this event? Click on that. I've got it set for 60 minutes. That's all fine. It's got my days and times in there. And if you click on advanced and scroll down, you can put event buffers in. So I want there to be 30 minutes before and 30 minutes. Actually, I'm not going to do before. I'm just going to do 30 minutes afterwards. I just want a buffer afterwards to just reflect, grab a cup of tea, have a wee, and on to the next one. And I'm going to save and close that. And then that's all done. So if I view my event on live page, people can still book a power hour with me. But when it goes into my calendar, there will also be a half an hour spare afterwards before the next time option is available to somebody booking. So, for example, if somebody wanted to book the 1230 slot, because it's an hour, there won't then be a 130 slot for them to book because I don't have anything afterwards. Instead, it would have jumped to there being a two o'clock slot because I've added a buffer afterwards. So I recommend you do that for your appointments as well, just to give you some breathing space. We all need some breathing space. If you need any help with Calendly, then head over to my website, delegateva.co.uk, or find me on LinkedIn and send me a message. Thanks for listening.